guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the first episode of a new series on my channel that I'm going to be calling Bar Talk. And I wanted to make videos where I can like just sit down and talk to you guys, um, preferably in one take, although some editing sometimes might be necessary. And I thought since I can put my computer, use my webcam, make it super simple, just set it on top of my breakfast bar and like sit here because I was thinking about filming in this location and just have like a little drink and talk to you, we could call it bar talk. And um, I can, you know, just talk about what's ever on my mind and it can just be really casual and almost like we're at a bar having a conversation. Um, so today I'm drinking, I will tell you always too when I'm drinking, um, is this, um, Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon blend from this, I don't know if you call it a company or a winery, it's Dark Horse and I got it at Trader Joe's. It is super good. If you like really dark and dry wines, you will like this wine. So cheers and let's go ahead and get into today's topic, which is relationships. Um, particularly following your head versus following your heart and unhealthy relationships versus healthy relationships. Um, so just for a little bit of background, I have recently got back into dating. I took a hiatus. It was not a brief hiatus. I took a good like six months off of dating. And there was a variety of reasons. I don't want to get into all of those. But recently after moving, I thought it was the right time to get back into the dating scene. And I met someone pretty early on into my dating that I was really interested in. I really liked. We connected just really quickly and things, I wouldn't say things moved fast, but like we just grew connected very quickly. And um, essentially things went well and then we sort of reached a point where it just wasn't really totally working in the way that things were going but we still liked each other, if that makes sense. Um, so we decided to go like on a break, which is really cheesy and I even hate that whole terminology, but that's what we did, you know, where we're still into each other and stuff, but we're just taking a little bit of a step back. Um, although we do still talk all the time and are still sort of dating in a way. <laughs> and um, in the midst of that, I met another person who I liked, who was kind of the complete opposite of this guy, um, because this person um, is just sort of like the ideal, I guess, that I have on paper, so like has a really good job, is really successful, also has a lot of similarities to me and just that they're more on the introverted side, you know, they work really hard, they are really responsible, you know, just like stuff like that. And the other guy, which I know I didn't really talk about, but he's a little more on the opposite where on paper, he's not exactly what I'm really looking for because he's definitely in a transitory state in his life and in his career. He's still sort of getting himself together after graduating college. And we're just not really like on equal footings in a lot of ways. And that's definitely frustrating. And we do have different sort of lifestyles where he is a lot more extroverted. He likes to go out. He likes to go to parties. And I'm just not into that kind of thing. And he does a lot, a lot of stuff like that. He's a very, like, social guy. So we're very different. And, but then we really connect in terms of, like, personality and chemistry and then also, like, physical attraction. And not that the second guy and I do not, um, but... It's a little bit more of a new thing, so I don't think we've fully gotten there. And he's someone who I think I would go a little bit more slowly with. And I just realized I'm basically, like, talking about my relationships on the internet, which I normally don't do and try to make it a point not to. But I'm trying to use this context as an example and not really get into, like, personal details, but just so you guys get the gist. Um, and it's been really interesting because they actually both know about each other and are both cool with each other. Um, and it's an interesting experiment because it sort of, I think, represents sort of like where your head is at and where your heart is at, or you could look at it as like where your subconscious mind is and where your conscious mind is, anything like that. Because one choice 
definitely represents more of like logic and reasoning and all that kind of thing. And then the other one is a little bit more like passion driven. And so it's really interesting to see this kind of divide happen um, and just like being in this position. And it'll be interesting to kind of see how it all turns out. Um, and I guess who I choose, assuming I guess that a choice happens at some point. And I, I just think it's brought up a lot of like really interesting questions in my mind about the nature of relationships, because I definitely am a psychology buff. And I know that in our relationships, we tend to seek out what is normal to us and therefore to our brain, what is comfortable. So you might want to have something that is different than you've had in the past. Like if you've had abusive relationships in the past or even just unhealthy relationships, it can be really hard to change that. Cause even if you like consciously want to make a change, sometimes your subconscious doesn't get that message because it's still like dealing and working on those issues. And it also is attracted to familiarity. Like all of your brain is attracted to what it knows and what's familiar. So if dysfunction is normal to you and that's familiar, that's what you're used to, that's what you're going to see emerge in your relationships. And it kind of works from like looking at your family and your background to then how that has applied in your relationships emerging as an adult. And you usually can kind of see a lot of patterns where people that come from more dysfunctional backgrounds and abusive backgrounds tend to have those same things happen in their romantic relationships, even their friendships, versus people who have more healthy parents are healthier people in relationships and can more easily cultivate a healthy relationship, right? So it can be really hard because it's hard to change those like subconscious patterns and those thoughts. And it's interesting because I almost feel like this is sort of a representation of my subconscious and my conscious where like one is something I like actively am seeking to manifest and then the other one is something that my subconscious is creating from my past. And so it's interesting to kind of see how that plays out and even just what the differences are in feeling and connection and chemistry and like all of those kinds of things. Um, and it can be uncomfortable for sure though to get outside of your comfort zone because um, like the second guy where, you know, he's the, or I'm sorry, the first guy where like on paper, he's everything I'm looking for. When we were first talking, I was almost hesitant because I was like, there's no way I'm going to be like into someone like this. And I almost talked myself out of the experience completely because I think I was afraid to do something different. And I, I ended up discovering that that actually wasn't true, that we did have a connection and it wasn't something that was superficial. So it was really kind of interesting to like be able to talk myself through that and then see that I was actually wrong in my initial evaluation. I just wanted to kind of like talk about that. And I know a lot of people have probably gone through similar things and it's, an interesting subject, I think, because we don't normally talk about like our relationship patterns in this kind of way. And I really like to analyze and really see why I am behaving or making the choices that I'm making. And like, is it me that's making those choices? Is it my subconscious that's making those choices? You know, what's really driving me in any particular experience? So I would love to hear from you all if you have gone through this kind of thing and, um, like what your kind of thoughts are on the subconscious mind and its influence on your relationships and um, what your background is. Are you somebody that has sort of a healthy relationship with your family, who has a healthy relationship with each other and you've seen your relationships reflect this or the opposite? Or have you seen an a different pattern where like your parents have a really healthy relationship but then, and you have a healthy relationship to your parents, but then you're finding some kind of disconnect in your romantic relationships and like, you know, how do you deal with that? So I would love to hear from you all in the comments and I will see you guys next time. If you also have any topic requests for bar talk that you would like me to talk about, feel free to also leave those in the comments. Bye everyone.